Hi again, I'm back. Dinner is over here and I decided I better get back in here to this so that I can figure out how I want to do this. We need to make an attachment for our key and we need to get that placed in there before we can put paper on the back. So I'm going to use the same gold chain that we used um, before. And um, let's see if I can find what I'm looking for here. Or if I just have a fine mess. <laughs> Probably have a fine mess. I could use one of those on there. Um, oh, I'm going to tell you what I'm trying to do. These split rings on the Tim Holtz um, brads, they come open really super easy. And I could glue them and stuff like that, but um, they work better if you just put a split ring on them, but split rings are not always easy to get on. And if it's too wide, it won't go through there. Let's see. Oh, well, I don't need to do that. Here. Let's see. I just need to go here, take it apart. And <laughs> sp spread the little wings there. So we're going to see if this will work. Okay, what did I do with it? There it is. Oh, look at that. What did he do? Perfect, look at that. That will work. Okay, so now where are we going to place that? Uh-oh. Somewhere. Oh, I just lost the piece. Maybe it stuck to the, yeah, it did. It stuck to the magnet. <laughs> there it is. Whew. Thank goodness. Okay, I'll insert that and then I'll expand those wings so that can't happen again. Okay. So our key is going to come about here. We're just going to make this part right now because we need to get this installed. So we might as well create this part. Now I was thinking that we probably want it to hang down just slightly, but not too much. So probably right about there. <laughs> I'm going to take that off of there. Put that in there. And I know I have a fancy jump ring. Nope, that's not them. Oh. Here it is. It's not a very big one. That's the problem with it. It may not be large enough. I mean, it may be um, too thick, is what I'm trying to say. Okay. Finding my little piece here. But it may be too thick to go through this. Oh, perfect. Look at that.
and we're going to run that through there just like that and push that jump ring back together and there we have it this will hook in up here we'll put a little hole in there and then I guess we should probably think about putting some dangles on that what do you think some dangles or not I'm going to just toss that jump ring in there I'm gonna throw that one away um, let's think about that in a little bit right now let's go ahead and get our make a decision about where we want the hole to be um, we don't want it too close to the edge probably right about here okay open open and so we have a hole there now just to um, kind of secure that hole I'm going to put tape around it maybe well I'm going to put tape over it like that now I'm going to poke the hole through again so I can get through the tape I hope I guess I have to put this on because we can't put the paper on the back till this is in right okay so got to put those little wings back together or legs or whatever people call them okay you want to make sure that this because of the kind of hook we placed on there we want it to be hanging down so whatever you know just double check your hooks and stuff be sure that that's going the right way so it hangs appropriately and you really want to press that in there but don't go back through your paper whoops I forgot to take off my <laughs> oh Angela okay I'm going to get my little wider tape okay now the test let's see if it holds oh look at that it does it holds it holds the page shut yay so we will decorate that up but let's continue with our paper right now and see if we can gain a little bit ahead to get ahead on it a little bit let me pick up my tools I cut it the wrong size though I think that is pretty what do you think I think that one is very pretty I did not think I would like it I definitely cut this one wrong look at that Whew. <laughs> okay so what do you think of that one I have to straighten it up a little bit that one work okay do we want any lace on it 
Ugh. Not that one, huh? Okay. Now let's try this one. You know what? It, it does need white under it. A white lace. It's just a little whiter than that. I think this one would be too big now. Maybe not. Do we want that to go over the edge? Right there. And then have this Cover that right along that rib. Oh, why not, huh? Let's do it. Because I can't make a decision, so. Okay. So even if I have to... I don't have to clamp clip this one down much, do I? Just on the back side a little bit. Put this up here. I might be a little heavy handed with Okay. I am going to open that up. Even though I have magnets there, I think it's going to be okay. Ah, I was afraid of that. Sometimes I squeeze the bottle to see if I can hear it making a, a little noise of air, you know. And I couldn't hear it this time, so I knew it was quite ready to be used. And it's still not quite ready to be used. Hopefully I'll be able to burnish it down. And uh, Let's try that. That's where that glue dried. And right there is where the glue dried. See what it looks like. That looks good. I'm glad. Okay. Now let's do some lace. I know it's really big lace. But I really like it. Now I have two choices here that can hang over the side there. And look like one page and then it's a surprise it opens. I kind of want to cut it off right there to right there. Actually, we'll center those guys. And then we'll 
I'll center that. Like that. Okay. Now we're putting down two pieces of lace so I can put down the big lace or the wider the wider score tape. My end camera. Score tape is clear anyway. score tape all over this one but we can run a thin pink or green ribbon across there which would that was the one I was thinking about I think I'll go with it. <laughs> I tell you, I just don't know about myself sometimes. I've got to get my room cleaned up. I guess our rooms finally get to that point where we have it stacked because we've been busy and putting things together and working on projects and we have two, three, four projects going, five, maybe more. And then the room just hits that point of total overload. Because nothing's in its place and you can't find anything because your desk looks like mine does right now. Oops. And then a bunch of stuff falls out of the closet. <laughs> I'm not even over there. <laughs> I have some strange visitor, I guess. Okay, let's put that one there. Now we're gonna, going to line these little sways up with these little sways. So we're going to put that one there, that one there, that one there, and there, and there. Okay. Just peel that one off a little bit. Lay it down a little bit better. I stretched it, which made it pull up on the. <sighs> Trying to force a square into a round hole, I guess. Okay, that will fit on that if I am very, very careful. But it will fit better on this. And I don't have to be as careful. So we will run it where? Just on that side. 
going to run a little bead of glue first. Maybe. I don't know. This is the one that was bugged up. So let's put that in there. shows lately I have been watching Miss Marple I love her shows um, I'm into season five now and I've seen some of those before but I really like the old Miss Marples with them um, sorry I can't think of her name right now but I really like her as an actress and she did such a fine part in Miss Marple, although she was quiet. In this new Miss Marple, she is talkative. That's who we named our cat Marble after was Miss Marple, we, but we called her Miss Marble. But she's the kitty that passed away recently. So, we do miss her. The other day I put food out for her. <laughs> I was like, oh. <laughs> uh -huh. The other cat thought he was just getting two bowls of food. He liked it. He thought that was pretty cool. So... Okay. Now I know this is a little large for this area. But I just had to do it. No good reason. I just had to. Okay. So we are going to cut this. Right about... Here. From here to there and there to here. Almost, almost. Okay. We'll have to glue that one down. We'll have to be gentle with it till we get there. To see just a little bit of white through there but we want to cover up the paper and then but I do want it end to end so let me see that part Right there. And then let me look at it here with a straight scissor line. And it looks like it'll be right about there. What do you think? Yay or nay? Just 
a little bit crooked. This one, like this one got cut off, so let's go ahead and remove that one. That might even it back up. Just have to cut just a tiny little bit off right there. Oh, tiny more. And just a little bit right there. If we keep cutting on it, it's going to be all wacky, huh? Look at that. Nice little snippet for something else, isn't it? Woohoo, I like it. Gosh, that would have been good right there, huh? With that little thing there. Too late, it's pasted down. Throw those back there. Okay. Onward ho! Since I wasted so much of your time trying to find that crazy green ribbon, Anyway, I used to have all my ribbons stored in, on dowels, really long ones, about um, four foot high, maybe five foot high. And then I would um, just keep, you know, peeling them off till they were empty. And then once the ribbon got got empty, then I would um, cut the box off and the ribbons would fall down. Then I could add new ribbon to the top. But I got rid of all those. After my mom passed away and we had to clean out her house, I was so stymied by all the stuff, all the years of collecting and everything that I came home and cleaned out my house, cleaned out all my art too. I just couldn't do anything anymore. Anyway, I was too, I was mourning too much. But, um, I also went through and really cleaned my house up. Um, totally decluttered it because I decided I didn't want to didn't want to have to put my kids through that what we went through cleaning up mama's place mom and dad's place but now I'm back to collecting things again I go through spells where I sell off a bunch of art supplies but you know, I had that lined up when it was there, but now that it's there, it's not. But I like it. What do you think? Woohoo! Okay, we need to glue some stuff down. takes a little bit to glue these things down, but it's worth it because then you look at it and it's so beautiful. And you're just like, wow, I did this, you know? You look at them and you're just, it's really, you know, quite surprising when you get done with these albums and 
Like I was looking at some today and gosh, it's so hard to believe I made them, you know. I, I don't know why. I've always been creative. You know, if it's not one thing, it's another. Just the way that I've always been. I always had to be busy with something. And if I had nothing to craft with, I had mud to make mud pies with. Or I'd go out and be an engineer like my Uncle Alex and, and uh, build dams. <laughs> I don't know if he was an engineer, but... He worked on building the one of the a couple of the dams around here, and um, anyway, I'd go and my dad. He was an engineer, and uh, anyway, I liked building dams. And my dad, he would tell me how to build it a little better, and. Make it work a little stronger, and then I'd make a mud pie out of all my mud that came flowing down. Not that we would eat it, but my dad always pretended. Okay, so now this one I am going to glue on these little circles. Because that is one of the thickest spots on it. Okay. Let's let that dry. Sorry that took so long about the ribbon. Gosh, I'm going to have to edit that part out. And i got to edit part two really good too. Page two, because I uh, was so indecisive there. Oops, hope I didn't throw something good away. That's good, I can't throw that away. Oh, look there. What are these doing here? Okay, Angela, put them away. They don't go there, hon. There we go. Talking to myself. Come and talk to me. <laughs> okay. I might have thrown that box away. That'd be bad, because then my glue dots might dry out. Oh, goodness. But I think I did. I think I must have thrown it out. Okay, well, we need to let this dry. I'll put that back in there. Maybe it won't get exposed to too much air. I'll put it, stuff around it. Like tape. I'll put tape around it. Okay. Well, I think that we will stop for this evening and let this dry good. And we will come back and work on it some more tomorrow. And what else will we do to it? So I got my Stamperia Blues albums ready to mail out. I've got all kinds of albums going out right now. Um, and something I did was I made really cute little bags to go with them of little embellishments and different things that can be added to the albums. And I took all the leftover paper, so I don't have any more of it, and put it into, cut it into photo mats and squares and strips and tags and, um, I put them all in a bag and put some of the extra ribbon and stuff in there and gosh, it is just, it's so wonderful. It really looks amazing. So 
but it is beautiful. Look at this. How do I love thee? Let me count the ways. Now, wouldn't that be beautiful? But I think it needs to be a different paper under there. I mean, it could be a solid, too. Um, not that. What was I thinking of? But that is too, too, not it. That's not it at all. Could be this. Or it could be the green. Let's have a look at those together before we say goodbye. So anyway, what I'm thinking is that it could be this could be a flip up page. We'll put it on a hinge, you know. Then you could write there and then you could cover it up. Not that that would hide anything, but the green makes these look nice and deep. The pink, not so much. What it needs to be is a rose. I have a rosy colored paper. I intentionally got an extra pack just in case. Was it this one? Ooh, we have rose gold. Oh, you know what? I bet I used it all. Oh no, here it is. And then I have this beautiful rose gold, but you couldn't write on it. It would take a special pen, and I don't know what that pen would be. Here's the rose gold. Ooh! <laughs> That'll make you dizzy, huh? Let me throw that paper down there. Okay. Here's the really rosy one. Oh, that's good. I like that. It matches this good, doesn't it? Yeah. Okay, so we'll do that one tomorrow with this. We'll make a flip page. And hopefully I'll have my room cleaned up and functioning much better than this because this is a disaster. Do you want to see my desktop? Okay, let's go. There's my, this is me. <gasps> Where are you? There we are. So, there's my desk area. Let me get out of the way. You don't need to see me. And that's not even the half of it. So you can see I have a little table right over here. And then behind me is another table. But you can see I've got stacks. I've got waters, inks, glue gun, my lights over here, and I've got two lights up above. My stereos here. Scissors at three o'clock. I heard, heard it on the, I heard it. <laughs> listening to one of the YouTubers the other day and somebody told her to put the scissors at three o'clock and it stuck with me so my scissors are at three o'clock. Everything else is a mess and has no time area but scissors at three. So anyway I will let you go for this evening and I will talk to you tomorrow and we will get this finished, finish this page and hopefully start on the next one. 
and uh, we'll get our key all decorated. Isn't that beautiful? I love it. I just love it. Look at this. Let me get the key in there, right? Or it won't work right. Isn't that pretty? Oh, sorry. Isn't that beautiful? We'll put some little embellishments on here. Some uh, Swarovski crystals to hang on there. That'll be real pretty. And then it'll kind of go with the... Um, oh dear. What did I do with them? <laughs> I don't know. Come off of there. Then, oh, did I tell you what I did? I'm sorry. So I added this lace to here. Um, it matches the lace that is on this green paper. But when I added the lace, this got caught up in there. So I put this little banner flag on here. Um, I just cut it and shaped it. And then I glued it inside of here. And I glued it under here up to about here. And now the banner flag just slips right on. Or the little jewel thing that we made just slips right on. Isn't it beautiful? Very pretty. We did a nice job. Yeah. I don't know if you can see all that. I have to. I don't know if that helps or makes it worse. I guess maybe makes it worse. I don't know. Anyway, so pretty. It's fun to get to do chains and beads and stuff too. As we're doing this. Anyway, thanks for joining me today. And I look forward to seeing you tomorrow. And I will cut this video up. You'll never know it was this long. Okay? <laughs> right. Bye for now. Thank you for, have, for inviting me into your homes and letting me craft with you. And I will talk to you tomorrow. Bye for now.